Hi, I'm Juliana Hever and this is the What Would Juliana Do Q&A. Today's question is, do vegans have a higher incidence of vitamin D deficiency than omnivores? And the answer is no. We're actually seeing a worldwide epidemic in vitamin D deficiency, irrespective of the type of diet people eat. Why is that? We're not supposed to be getting our vitamin D from our food, we're supposed to be getting it from the sun. What happens is the UVB rays penetrate the skin and it goes into the liver and kidneys where it becomes activated into its form 125-dihydroxy vitamin D. That's the form that our body can use. Why are we not getting enough? Well, it's so interesting. There's so many variables that can obstruct the absorption of vitamin D, including how dark your skin is. The darker your skin, the more sun exposure you need. Or aging. As you age, it's harder to absorb. If you have extra fat on your body, it's harder to absorb. Where you live, the latitude at which your city where you reside is, affects your vitamin D absorption. So there's so much that comes into play. Also, uh, we're so much, so many of us have become sun phobic. So we stay indoors, we're indoors most of the time anyway, but when we go outdoors, we slather our skin with sunscreen and that prevents their good rays from going in and creating vitamin D. Why is this important? Every cell in our body contains vitamin D receptors. That means that every cell of your body requires vitamin D for optimal functioning. Furthermore, there is a substantial body of evidence now showing an association between vitamin D deficiency and multiple chronic diseases like osteoporosis, osteopenia, uh, autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis, heart disease, and certain cancers. So it's important to make sure we have optimal levels of vitamin D. So how do we prevent deficiency? Well, first of all, know your numbers. Next time you go to your physician, ask to have your vitamin D tested. Now, this is becoming standard protocol for a lot of healthcare practitioners, but just make sure and just ask. What, you, what you're looking for is about a 30 or 35 nanomoles per liter as a result. If you have less than 30, 35, you are insufficient or deficient. In that case, the first line of defense should be sun therapy, safe sun therapy. So what does that mean? Go outside in the sun at peak hours between 10 and two with as much skin as exposed without offending your neighbors and without sunscreen on. You could put sunscreen on your face to protect from wrinkles and you could wear sunglasses to protect your eyes, but you want the sun to go into your skin without the sunscreen in its way. Try doing this regularly. You don't want to pink up. You don't want to get sunburned. So play with this to find the optimal amount of time. And of course, this changes during the year. If it's cold or cloudy outside, it's harder to get adequate sun. So find the good levels for you and, and keep it consistent. After a few weeks, you can retest your blood levels. If you have not successfully brought up your serum vitamin D, you want to consider supplementing. If you're going to supplement, please ask your healthcare practitioner for advice because there's a lot of different therapeutic doses and, and types of vitamin D available. So you wanna make sure you're doing it in the safest possible way. If you have a question you'd like answered, or if you're interested in nutrition counseling, find me online at www.plantbaseddietitian.com, on Facebook as Plant Based Dietitian, or on Twitter as at Plant Dietitian. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.